Even after the most intense environmental disruptions, life finds a way. Recovery after a wildfire, the scale of the CZU Lightning Complex fire of 2020 can take some time. But coast redwood forests are resilient, if nothing else. One year after the fire started, we've already seen plant and animal species making their way back to the forest. As plants and trees recover, new habitat is formed for fish, birds, and mammals to make their homes. Even plants, which for decades were shaded by a thick canopy, are seeing the light of day once again and taking advantage of this unique opportunity to gather energy. Herbaceous plant species re-establish themselves and flowers bloom in full force. The park's natural bouquet of wildflowers attracts insects and other pollinator species to resume their role in propagating, a key ingredient to life and biodiversity here in the forest. Then, of course, there are the trees themselves. After a century of fire suppression, we've changed this environment, giving advantage to certain species over others. This reset can help tip the scales back towards a more historic and healthy forest structure. It's true. Recovery for trees in a coast redwood forest can be slow on the human scale, but this forest is well adapted to recover and regenerate itself after a fire. The birds have been among some of the first to bounce back. Many, if not most of the avian species found here prior to the fire have since been observed in the park. Even endangered marble murrelets have begun to return to nest in the branches of our old growth redwoods and Douglas firs, as they have always done. Wood buildup from downed trees and logs have even created new habitats for the fish and other aquatic species that inhabit big basins, creeks, and streams. As plants re-establish and trees heal, habitats are restored and larger animals will make their way back into the park. This can take time, but we are already seeing larger animals returning. And rest assured, we're working hard so that hopefully, before too long, it'll be safe for all us human animals to once again return to.